guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching the quick unboxing and hands-on with the Infinix Hot 9. The Hot series uh, from Infinix has a new smartphone which has an MRP of 9999 but I hope it is priced a bit lesser because the chipset isn't that powerful even though the other specs seem decent enough. This phone comes with a quad camera setup that is given on the uh, top itself with 4GB, 64GB, the only variant that it comes with and the branding is similar to how the previous devices were and these are the major specifications of the device 6.6 .6 inch HD plus punch hole camera display and it comes with a 20 to 9 aspect ratio and it's an HD plus so 720 to 1600 pixels is the screen resolution that you're getting here the company claims that it comes with 480 nits of brightness and it also has the eye care mode and uh, now the next part is the 5000 mAh battery 5000 mAh is the capacity here and I guess it might have the 10 watt charging and not faster than that and there's the 13 megapixel primary camera and three other cameras as well which include a 2MP depth sensor, 2MP macro lens and a low light sensor which as usual I don't feel is necessary at all because macro sensor uh, is still okay but what would the low light sensor do here? We'll try to do a separate camera review to see whether it actually works out or helps uh, in any way in the low light photography. Next it has the DTS audio processing and also the face unlock and fingerprint and XOS 6.0 based on Android 10. It uh, clearly mentions uh, made in India here and the price is mentioned as 9999 that is the price of the device and the color variant that we have got is a violet color so this is the color that we've got let's unbox this and check out what comes in the box package before we talk about the physical uh, aspect and the interface of the Infinix Hot 9 so as soon as you open the box package the first thing that you see here is the phone itself which again has uh, the fake screen guard uh, with the uh, sheet of specifications the list of specifications so as once you pull this out it's actually naked and now you'll have to uh, have a screen guard placed here because that was removed uh, I wish company had already given a screen guard which most of the companies now do it's still only uh, uh, scratch proof but still it gives an assurance to the user that initially there's no harm un until you uh, place a tempered glass and this is the back of the device that comes with this uh, gradient kind of a finish and it's a glossy back there's a fingerprint sensor and the quad camera setup on the back of the device let's keep this aside let's also start the phone meanwhile until uh, the accessories are checked here so you have the sim ejector tool to begin with and then this is the travel adapter that comes with the 5 v 2a output and uh, that's expected 10 watt charging is what it supports and then there's this uh, micro usb cable which indicates that the phone has a micro usb connectivity and then you have the super comprehensive app, the X Club, the introduction about that and the user manual and the warranty booklet as well. But yeah, a good thing here, as I mentioned earlier that you need a screen guard. There's a screen guard in the box, so that's a good thing. We missed out that earlier. Now there's a screen guard so you can actually place it and at least keep it protected from scratches. And there's this transparent rubber cover that is given in the box package. So you have a complete kit except the headphones or the earphones, which is quite common anyway and uh, you don't expect the earphones in this price range or from these kind of brands uh, they do work in the budget range and um, that's what you get so let's keep this aside and now check out the phone itself forcibly removing the battery would damage it obviously it's not going to be removed by you uh, will damage the phone because it's an uh, uh, you cannot remove the battery you cannot remove the back cover as well but anyway there's that uh, notification or a warning if you try to do something at least and uh, now this is the interface let me first talk about the physical aspect of the device so the right side of the phone has the power button as well as volume rocker button on the top there's nothing on the left of the phone is that sim card area and uh, towards the bottom what you see is the speaker grill the earphone jack as well as the micro usb port and the microphone so there's no secondary microphone which is quite no noticeable there and uh, next uh, on the back let's talk about the camera combination now so this, there's a primary 30 megapixel camera given here alongside that is a 2 megapixel uh, de depth camera 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel low light sensor we'll be anyway checking out later whether these work well or uh, they actually offer what they are said to be offering and there's a triple lens uh, triple led flash here uh, to support uh, the low light uh, photography now moving to the interface this is uh, the android 10 based xos 6.0 also as a part of the interface what i like is these wallpapers that come by default you see that the punch hole camera there and the camera icon in the bottom are well placed with these uh, wallpapers let me now switch to another one so that's how the punch hole camera looks like you can see that it's trying to show you that uh, animation towards the top this is another one 
So, uh, and this one as well looks pretty good. So there are uh, limited wallpapers, but these all actually look quite good. And obviously it uh, looks a bit different from most of the interfaces and it looks similar to the previous XOS uh, interfaces. And this is all about it. It actually is called Dolphin version 6.1.0, which is uh, weird. We haven't heard of this name earlier. I guess I didn't hear it. And there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera as well here and 4GB RAM, 64GB storage, 5000mAh battery, 2.0 GHz. So that's what I was talking about. The Helio P22 processor is what is powering uh, the Infinix Hot 9, which is not a strong chipset at all. 12 nanometer chipset, clock speed of 2.0 GHz at max, and it is supported by the IMG or VRG8320 GPU. So that GPU would be anyway tested in a separate gaming review, but I I'm sure that it won't uh, offer uh, so much in terms of gaming or graphic loading. But in the interface, you can see that there's quite a load of applications that are unnecessary and uh, there's quite a lot of bloatware. AHA games, AHA games and AI gallery. Uh, there's Carl Care and then you have DTS sound which is needed, okay. And face unlock has a separate feature there. Instant apps and uh, you have Palm Store which is not needed again. Puzzle Pets and uh, PHX Browser, Real Football. These apps, I guess you can remove them if you wish to. So there's an option to remove them. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, you you are not wasting your storage here. So this is the Phoenix browser and you cannot remove this. Some of the apps you can't remove because they come inbuilt in a, as a part of the OS package and you will have to keep them. Now getting into the camera application itself, uh, there's this camera app with the uh, features like AI cam, beauty, bokeh. Bokeh is because of that uh, portrait camera that is given there, AR shot and panorama as well. So these are the different uh, features there. If you go into the video recording, you have the best possibility of 1080p video recording and uh, not more than that. That's obvious again. And uh, these are the different settings under the video setting. Now if you go into the regular AI camera and go into the settings, you have picture size, which is 13 megapixel at best. And apart from that, you have the delay capture, which you can change. You can uh, uh, enable the grid, touch capture and auto watermark. And you have the option of macro, super macro or the regular camera. So that is another difference here. So you can actually take some good macro photo photos if you are interested in that. This is a close range capture, which is not bad to be frank, but again, uh, we have some artificial light conditions. I'll be trying this out later anyway. And there's a delay in the capture because if you see the uh, subject was moved and that's the capture that we get. So we'll be doing a proper separate camera review in case, in case you guys are interested. If you let us know in the comment section below, we'll be doing that separate camera review. Otherwise, this was all about the Infinix uh, Hot 9. This uh, phone is having an MRP of uh, 9999 but I hope it launches at around 8000 which should be quite a good price for this one. And uh, that's it in this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to this one for more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.